guys, so today I'm going to be doing the music tag, and um, I thought it'd be nice for you guys to kind of get to know me a little bit more, because I love music, um, and maybe like learn some new music artists that you might not know of, um, so yeah, I really love music, um, and I'm definitely down to do any more uh, like music type videos, so if you want me to, just let me know. And let's get into the video. Okay, so um, I just have the questions on my iPad. So the first one is, which bands or artists do you own the most albums by? Um, probably the Arctic Monkeys. I have all of their albums. Um, and I just love them so much. I also have, I think I have all of Lana Del Rey's too, so... Yeah, both of those two are like my favorite. Um, what was the last song you listened to? Um, lately I've been listening to a lot of, I don't know if it's like Odessa or Odessa. Not really sure how you pronounce their name, but I love their music. And the one song, I think it's Say My Name. It's so good. And I've, I literally been listening to it like on repeat for the past week. So, um... What is in your CD player right now? Um, I don't have a CD player, but I mean, my car does, but I don't know. I haven't listened, I usually just listen to my iPod. Um, what was the last show you attended? Uh, the 1975, back in like December, I think it was. It was a really good show. Um, what was the greatest show you've ever been to? Um, probably the Arctic Monkeys. That was in like last June or whatever. I just, that was so cool. Like I listened to them all the time and to finally see them in person was just like really surreal. And I was like, I think it was like three or four rows back. So I was really close. So that definitely was my favorite. Um, what was the worst show you've ever been to? Um, I don't know, I've, I've only been to like three or four concerts. I wish I would have been to more, but um, the 1975 was kind of like annoying in the beginning because it was like, like completely full and it was in like a smaller area. So it was kind of annoying because everyone was like so close together. Um, and me and my sister were like, up towards the stage but we had to like move back because it was getting to the point where like you couldn't even like breathe people were like pushing so much so I mean it's not the worst show I've been to but it definitely was like a kind of annoying experience so um what was the most musically involved you have ever been um I, I don't know I really haven't played any instruments I wish I could but I did play the clarinet back in like, I don't know, like fourth or fifth grade. And I did, I did chorus up until like probably ninth grade. So, but I wasn't really good at any of that stuff. So, I mean, I wish I could be, but yeah. Um, what show are you looking forward to? As of now, nothing. Like I wish I was going to a concert, but, um, I'm really hoping like 1975 and Arctic Monkeys come back soon because I I don't know those shows are just like the best and I was gonna go to a Hozier concert but it sold out which really sucks so yeah um what's your favorite band t-shirt um it would probably be the one I have on right now which is from the Arctic Monkeys or um this wasn't like anything I got at a concert, but this Led Zeppelin t-shirt, I wear like so much. It's so worn out now, but I love this t-shirt, so. That's that. Um, and then the next question is, um, what musician would you like to hang out? Who, what musician would you like to hang out for for a day? Um, probably Alex Turner. I love him and it would just be so cool to like just spend a day with him. Um, if not him, 
probably if he was still alive John Lennon but yeah he's just I love how he thinks for everything so um one musician or group you wish would make a comeback um probably Led Zeppelin but I don't think that's ever gonna happen um just because they're not like really getting along and the Beatles obviously but that's not gonna happen because half of them are like dead already so yeah I'd say those two um one artist you've never been to or never seen live but you have always wanted to um probably Lana Del Rey but I don't know she hasn't really went on tour where I live yet so but if she comes I'm definitely gonna go her or I don't know like any classic rock artist which sucks because like I don't know they're all already like done touring and stuff because they're like they were around in like the 60s or 70s but that definitely would be cool like Fleetwood Mac and everything but yeah um name four or more flawless albums um probably I love Suck It and See by Arctic Monkeys. I've listened to that a lot. Um, the 1975's album I love. I've listened to that a lot. Uh, I really like The Doors, all of their albums. Like I can't really pick one. I have one of them, I forget what the name of it is. And hmm, probably Lana Del Rey's or no, I mean I love Lana Del Rey, but Fleetwood Mac's Rumors I've listened to so many times and it just never gets old. I have it on vinyl and CD and I have it like on my iPad and everything, so definitely that one. Um, how many music related videos slash DVDs do you own? Uh, I don't think I own really any. I used to, when I was little, own like all of Britney Spears and Backstreet Boys on like videotape. I don't even know if I still have that or not, but I used to watch those all the time. Um, how many concerts slash shows have you been to total? Um, sadly, only like three. I've been to the Jonas Brothers when I was like 13 and then Arctic Monkeys and then 1975. Um, who have you seen the most live? Well, since I've only seen three people, um, it's been just three times, so. But I really wish I could see the Arctic Monkeys more because they're amazing. Um, what is your favorite movie soundtrack? Mm, probably Grease. I used to listen to that all the time when I was little. Or Frozen. I love Frozen, so. Um, what was the last musical phase you've been to before you wisened up? Uh, sadly, I used to listen to a lot of like rap music and like Lil Wayne and stuff, which is really embarrassing. Um, so yeah. I don't know what that would be considered, but I definitely still listen to them all the time. Um, what's your guilty pleasure that you admit to liking? Uh, sometimes I still listen to the Jonas Brothers just because they bring back like good memories when I was little. And I don't know, I don't really feel guilty for anything I listen to. So yeah, I guess that would be one of them. So that's all the questions and um, I hope you guys maybe learned some different artists or learned a little bit more about me. Like I said, I'll definitely do, like if there's any other music tags or anything involving music, let me know and I definitely can do that guy for you guys. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you later. Bye.